What we're going to look at is the uh, GraphWorks program made by Siemens to build custom operator displays for accessing its Procidia line of controllers. In this case, we have three Siemens Model 353 controllers on an Ethernet network connected to this computer. We have configured an OPC database so it knows how to exchange data back and forth between this personal computer and the three Siemens controllers. What we're going to do here is go to the Start menu, Programs, Siemens Procidia, under Eyewear PC, there's another submenu called GraphWorks 32. We're going to open that up and use GraphWorks to configure a custom display screen for the operators. Now here, on the right hand side, you've got a uh, symbols palette. We're going to enter the symbols palette, and down below we have one called Procidia Symbol Wizard. And there's one wizard device already configured for us. It's a faceplate for a controller. It's very, very convenient. It just happens to uh, work very well with our application here. I'm going to drag that over. As I place that controller, it's now placed on the screen. When I go to run this application, and go to runtime, uh, I want that controller to show me the process variable and set point and valve position of my actual controller. But right now, the program has no idea which physical controller it should link to that object on the screen. So now I'm going to double click on the object, and that brings up a faceplate configuration window. It says, I need to connect to a configuration file. So I click the Browse button here, and configuration files, there's only one file I can click. And this was generated by the OPC database configuration utility that we ran earlier. I'm going to open up that configuration file. When I do, it says, oh, look, it's got three controllers, flow, temperature, and level that it recognizes. And I'll just pick any one of those. There's one loop inside each of those controllers, and I'm going to select that loop and generate a faceplate uh, link that now goes to that controller. So this controller faceplate is now linked with the flow control loop on the process. I'm going to repeat this process again, dragging over a brand new faceplate, double click on that. Once again, I'll browse to the configuration file, and this time I want to link it to the, the temperature control loop. And I click generate. Do it a third time for my third process controller. Drag it over here, double click, go to that configuration file, and go to the level controller right there, and generate. So now I've got three controllers side by side, and they all should be linked to flow, temperature, and level respectively. So when I go to runtime, I ought to see displays on here that correspond to my actual physical variables on those controllers. So to do that, I go up here to runtime. I click the runtime button. And we see this is the screen the operators will actually be looking at under normal circumstances. It's going to take some time to grab the data. We can see it right here. Flow is now measuring zero flow, set point of 15, valve wide open. Temperature is measuring room temperature right now, 71.54 degrees. Level is measuring uh, a little bit below zero. Looks like we have a calibration error on our transmitter. And as we've seen with the factory screens for Presidia, I have full control, auto manual mode. I can uh, change set point all kinds of stuff here. Put a set point of 100 for temperature. There's my new set point. I can switch auto manual mode. I can push these push buttons, which right now don't do anything on that controller. Um, I've got full control over my three processes, my three process controllers, through the custom screen that I built and linked to the appropriate OPC database tags.